slide just for my confirmation. How old are you? 28. Have you been sending sexual imagery, conversations, texts, or anything of the like to people under the age of 18? No. That's a lie. I mean, it we have a recording of you saying otherwise. Oh, we need a lie detector. Shut up. Guys. Guys. <laughs> When you say when you say text message, you're thinking, what did I? When did I get these people's phone numbers and text no. them? No, you did it no. on Discord, my dude. You any did it on sort Discord. of any sort of any sort of digital communication, any. Even uh, like Hangouts. Or what part of any? Phone. What part of any is hard to comprehend here? Because you didn't say any. I just heard text messages and. Did you send any? No. Any. If you want to try to split hairs here, son, we can do that, or I can have your address within 10 minutes. You make your call. You don't need to look for it. I already have a picture of his driver's license. Oh, fantastic. Even better. So let's try this again, Sly Fox. Have you ever had any sort of sexual communication with somebody under the age 18? <sighs> yes. All right. And how old was this individual? Um, it... <laughs> It was Nick's, 13. And what did you send? What did I say? Yes. Or send? What uh, did you send or say or whatever the communications context was? It was say because I was pretending to sound like Alistair. Okay, okay I don't there's, care. Uh, I, hold on. There's more than that. Hold there's on. more than hold that. On. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Let me be very clear here. I don't care about what make believe character you're pl you're ERPing with XYZ from ABC Universe. What did you send or say? Well, first of all, I didn't send any imagery to Nix. In voice calls, it was trying to fluster but it never got any further than just regular metaphors i never said i wanted to put my my uh, my dick in her at ever it was always it was always just you know very minuscule metaphors is really and what, what it came point, down to at what point did you think that was appropriate with the age gap between you two because I would often end with, you know, just kidding on it. I would never do that. Oh I don't my care. God. Hold on. I don't care about the justification. I want to know how you thought that was appropriate. Whether you say just kidding at the end is irrelevant. I want to know why you thought it was appropriate. Hey, everybody. Do y'all remember this douche? For those that don't, Sly Fox the Racing Demon is a self-admitted sexual predator. Though... Every time he admits it, he keeps changing his mind and taking it back within a few weeks. Sly Fox is a predator I covered on the side during the Grizzly the Medic fiasco. His real name, which is publicly available and therefore not doxing, is William Glenn Locke. He sexually engages with minors in voice chats and admitted to drawing erotic images of Dora the Explorer, which is a violation of obscenity law has a pro NSFW Discord server for the Has Been Hotel and Hell of a Boss fandoms. My source, a young non-binary teen who was one of his victims, has presented me with these screenshots as just a small peek into the explicit discussions happening in that server. An ally of mine, a man with a buttery voice who goes by the alias Pepsi Man, has also provided me with this testimonial. Sly Fox has admitted multiple times to his actions, including on one of his Twitter accounts, before bailing and finding new people to lie to. He will always deceive anyone he can, and is a direct threat to minors. I tried contacting the police, but that didn't go very far, and I am in contact with his father, but the man refuses to believe his son has done anything wrong. Nothing has changed. The best thing you can do for your safety is cut off contact.
Do not go after Sly Fox. Do not harass him. Do not engage with him in any capacity. And do not spy on him. I have evidence of him committing ban evasion on Discord, as his first account was banned from Discord, and he made a second one in order to continue pursuing children. I'll be reporting this to Discord's public relations department by the end of the week. Thank you to Monstrous, Pepsi Man, Danny, Loke, and the rest of the team who helped me with the original bust. All of you have been excellent at keeping tabs on the situation and keeping me informed while I work on other projects. Thank you. Keep up the good work and stay safe.